Hi, this is Chase McIntosh and Bryce Knup, and we're doing an Axe and E-Tech 3 LT comparison. So, first off, in the Axe and in the E-Tech are these cases. So, out of the box. Definitely uh, like the... The E-Tech case is a lot more hard. It's a hard, more sturdy case. But, but that's, that's Planet Eclipse for you. And then here, it opens up like this. Then you take this part off. And then you got this here. Your axe marker. And then show your... There's that. I don't do that. Either. So, take the markers out. So, as you can see, those are the markers. I'll put those down. And then, the marker spot. Then you take your second layer off. And there it is. Stock barrel. Is a 12 inch 693 bore barrel. This one comes with a two piece shaft 4 uh, 693 bore. It also comes with a Empire. Reverse thread is the name. Reverse thread. <laughs> An Empire uh, barrel bag. And a a full parts kit. This parts kit it comes with a box. nice box. I put key tips in there. It comes with all your Allen keys, O rings, extra detents, detent springs, screws, and that's about it. Yeah, this one comes with a barrel bag like every other gun. Uh, nice Allen key set here. It tells you all your sizes and stuff. And it comes with a three times rebuild kit. I haven't used it yet. Yeah. And it comes with some gun oil. Okay, okay. And a nice colored manual. Yeah, this is just a, a flat white with black lettering manual. So I'll put your barrel on your gun and we're just going to show the guns now. Okie dokie. So, now that we have our guns out of the case, and mass there's down. some I-4s that just fell off of the ceiling. And there's our venting. <laughs> <laughs> they break. What a break. Okay, guys. Well, if you guys can still hear us, um, this axe, this axe comes with a non-OLED board just lights up, turn the eyes off, which is on semi right now. So there's that, and the E-Tech comes with a nice uh, snow board, it comes with a nice little light show and turn it on, oh so pretty, and then, oh, uh, well, if you hold the trigger and it does that, you go into programming mode, and then you can hold it in again, it goes back to uh, a little light show, and it goes into normal mode, and Eyes on, eyes off. Yep. And this is the new axe board where you can program from the outside of the board, which I don't really know how to do yet. So, just mind me it. on that. I will make a newer <laughs> video on that. And, um, go ahead and show your bolt and the maintenance on the guns. Uh, good thing about poppets is it comes with just like a to stock E Tech bolt. It works fine with me. People say that my gun's quiet anyway, so and it quiet fine. from E-Tech. Yeah, quiet from E-Tech. Then the rammer. Screw here. Take the cap off. The rammer comes out. It's got it's the same rammer as like an ego. Yeah. Not the same. Like it's similar. You just put that in there. Yeah. It's got. So, since the L it's an LT, it's got the composite uh, grip frame, uh, uh, trigger, and feed neck. So, maintenance maintenance on this gun, you have the reg inside of the grips. So, taking out the bolt, you do a zigzag motion. So, there's a little button. 
right here that you press. You press this and you turn it to the right and then back it out and then back to the left. Here, show my little pulls pattern out. right there. There's a little zigzag pattern, if you can see. And this bolt just comes with a simple bolt system, which is a spring. Okay. And it takes you to the bolt there. And then your whole bolt engine, which is it. Which this whole system, this is just an easy spring. And then here, it's just a bolt. Just lube the bolt every time you get done playing. And lube your O-rings. Maybe throw a little bit of oil in there if you want to. As you can see, I have stuff on mine. And with the O-rings on here, just lube the O-rings. Make sure they're all lubed up and ready to move so they're not leaking or anything. And you just put this back on. Slide that on. And then you're done. So putting it back in. You make sure you push the little button on the side the whole time. Push the button. Well, you don't have to push the button the whole time. Just, we you have it. Line it up with that right there. And then you just turn left. Then you hold this. Push a button in after that. Push a button in and then turn left. And then your bolt is yeah. back into your gun. Good to go. And you're good to go. Now we're going to move on to ASAs. Go ahead. All right, so this is just oops. oops ASA on and off. It's pretty nice. The only thing I do not like about it is it comes out the side right here. I mean, it doesn't, like, bother me when I'm playing or anything. I just, it doesn't look as good as, like, like the newer Ego ASAs and whatnot. Okay. Yeah. Well, with a Axe, ASA, and Reg, the Reg goes through here, and it operates on no macro line. So, it's just this. Uh, this is off, and then you're aired up. It's easy to maintain. You can change your pressures through this screw here, and that's easy. So, next thing we're going to move on to is the groups. Um, on not just the E-Tech, but I guess the Egos and Geos and stuff, they come with really nice, comfy grips, but they're a lot, like, they're, they're really bulky, so it, like it's good for bigger hands, too, but... It, it feels fine for me. Okay, on here, this is a. These are just stock axe grips. I mean, they are thick. I don't think they're as thick as the egos, but they feel really nice in the hands. They just feel really nice to snap out with. And next thing we're going to move on to is regs and ID tents. Alright, uh. Reg is easy if like something's wrong or something. It's very easy. You pop the Mac line off, and you just unscrew it, and then yeah, I don't want to screw it all the way. But, but yeah, nice reg. I think this is plenty of clips to make like some of the best regs out there. Yeah, one of the best regs out there. And then the ID tents, they're good. Like they work, they do their job. But the only thing I don't like, there's two things, is if you take them off, they're really hard to put back on because you have to unscrew the grip to like slide it back under and if you get shot in the gun at all it's a pain in the butt because it paint just gets in between there okay, as you can see like, it'll get in between there and it makes it cleaning a little bit worse but other than that it's, they do their job with the axe it's just a simple two ball detents and it's just inside of the gun here and it comes with extra throughout the kit so there's that. Um, something different about the Ego and the Axe, which is fully pop it. It has LPR up here where you can adjust the pressure, adjust your settings, and sew through with that, which this is not. This is all on the inside of the grips. And the board is through here, which you can disconnect and reconnect. And um, that pretty much sums up the Axe and ETEC 3 LT comparison slash review. The Axe weighs in at 2 pounds and 4 ounces, while the E-Tech weighs in at 2 the pounds. LT. The LT weighs in at 2 pounds and 2 ounces. So at this time, we're going to show you our setups with both of these guns. And we'll do a review of what we use. Yeah, we'll do a review of what we use.
which I do not like the axe. Um, feedback. Yeah, you have to adjust it and stuff. I usually have an evil kit, but I don't have it at the time. And the barrel actually works quite well. Yeah. I use a rotor and a stiffy barrel kit. This is a switch kit, which I have the 687 inserted. I'm not going to put mine on. I'm just going to put it all together. Okay. Don't need it up. I really like the uh, e tech speed neck though. Works nice. Alright, you good. Alright, so I use a Ninja 5045. Um, it's just a peanut tank, does a job. Alright, I use a Empire. 5045, which I've been using for about a year and a half, two years now. So it's got me through and it shoots really nice. I also have a Vanguard Creed, which I use. So yeah, on to the loaders. Uh, we both we both use rotors. Oops, I got here. He has a newer one. I have a Z2 or whatever it is. No, that's actually. <laughs> I have the, yeah, the V2. Um, it works fine. The only thing about rotors is the plastics on them. If you get shot in the hopper at all, it goes straight under the plastic. Okay. It feels bad. Um, I have the V3 rotor in uh, liquid red, which mine has the exalt speed feed, while his has the die speed feed. And we much recommend the exalt. This thing breaks than easy. The die one. His, he got shot running and it broke. Yeah, garbage. So... Well, I use this barrel, which you know, and uh, so yeah, that pretty much wraps up the review, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we worked really hard on making this, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out his channel, Bryce, B-R-Y-C-E, space, C-A-N-U-P-P, -P. while mine is Chase, C-H-A-S-E, space, M-C-I-N-T-O-S-H. My videos, I have I4 review. And just a road review. Alright, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and have a good day. Bye.